My name is Catherine Harvey and I love designing costumes and bespoke made to order. My collection at the moment is based on a Dungeons and Dragons campaign I've been playing for two years. And it's about my character, Andura, and her progressive story arc and how she's grown and changed over time through the narrative. My collection is very much about expressing this idea of creating a window into the D&D community and into this imaginative narrative that is inaccessible to other people, giving them sort of a message and a way of connecting to this more sort of niche, nerdy subculture. My signature feature as a designer is probably the elvish aesthetic. I draw a lot on my Finnish heritage combined with more fantasy style silhouettes. I've employed a mixture of zero waste design, so using whole pieces of fabric and not having any cutoffs or anything. I've done embroidery and I've used painting and a lot of sort of bespoke techniques of like binding hems and stuff to make sure it's very durable, wearable stuff. So this is my first outfit, which is based in the time span between when Andura leaves her elven home village and before she meets her campaign party that she adventures with. So the cloak is made out of a wool acrylic durable outer with a linen inside for breathability. Um, the cloak is embroidered with symbols of importance to Andura. So this huge oak leaf is a symbol of her religion that she likes to carry with her, which is all about helping nature and very much centered around woodland elves. Um, on this side, we have more of an inspiration from my Nordic heritage, so using Viking runes and symbols. This is Kodakapi Linko, which is a symbol against protection, and you can find it on lots of different spoons, houses, and everyday items. The inside skirt is made from a vintage zero waste that has been hand sewn together with a draped corset on top, which has also been hand sewn on. The corset itself is brown with a silver lining to sort of accentuate the whole idea that she comes from wealth. With my concept in particular, it has been more difficult to explain it to my tutors and lecturers. Mine, I had to explain, explain what the entire game of Dungeons and Dragons was from the base up and then explain my internal story progression and narrative and how Dungeons and Dragons is a collaborative role play game. So how the characters interact with each other and how the characters grow and change over time. Uh, in the future, I see myself working at perhaps one of the big costume institutes. Being a freelance costume designer would be amazing. Or creating bespoke designs for clients would also be wonderful. If I could work for any company, I would love to work for the Bolshoi Ballet and do the tutus and stuff that they wear and the beautiful lyrical costumes. Or working in one of the Hokkaido fashion houses would be pretty awesome too. If one fashion trend in 2019 I think that should go is probably clear stuff. So like clear shoes and clear jackets. It's just, it's impractical. The fabric's not comfortable and they don't last very long.